to go. Okay. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different again. Today we're going to replace the thermostat in a refrigerator. Now, I know it's a thermostat because if I play with it a little bit and turn the thermostat wide completely open, it clicks on, but then it won't click off again. It'll stay on forever, and then everything gets really cold inside. But if I try to set it as anything reasonable, it doesn't work at all. So I know the thermostat's pretty shot. So let's get to work. Now, the easy way to find a thermostat on a refrigerator is to find these dials. Wherever these two dials are that set your refrigerator and freezer temperature, your thermostat's behind one of them. And the other one's behind a little slidey door that we'll look at in a few minutes. Now, on this one in particular, is a Whirlpool refrigerator. So, this whole face just pops right off. It's just sort of clipped on. I want to be gentle with it, try not to crack it. And there we go. And you can see, I believe these are quarter drive. And they are. So now we're going to take our screw gun and our quarter drive and pop the whole face off. Now remember, when you're doing a job like this, never force anything. Because if you're forcing it, it means you're probably doing it wrong and you're probably about to break something. Usually I'll use a magnet, but I've got a nice little tray right here. Okay, for these two screws, it's easier to see it from the inside. So, got one right here. And one right here. And that will take down your entire wiring system. Now we're going to unplug it right here. We're going to try to unplug it right here if it cooperates with this. It's got a little clip on the side. There we go. Now just about every refrigerator in the world unplugs differently. So this one, the next thing we're going to do, oh, let me get that out of the way. So the next thing we'll do is take this off. And you'll find a little bar. Oh, you'll find two little bars, I guess. This one controls the shutter for the air conditioner, for the refrigerator part. This one is the actual thermostat line. So let's go ahead and take that cover off. There you can go. You can see the actual probe just loops around this and that's it. So now we're disconnected. So let's go back to the outside and remove the thermostat from its housing. Once we've got the main once we've got this main plug unplugged, then we can work on this safely. Not have to worry about electrocuting ourselves. It's important to make sure you've got a it's important to make sure you've got a thermostat that matches the one you've got before you start. And here, if we look at this one, it's got two screws holding it on. And that's it. Unplug the wires. I'll make a mental note. Black was on this side, orange was on this side. Remove the two screws holding it on. Ah. Looks like we have to go underneath it to remove the bracket first because there's no way to reach the screws from the front. So we'll go under here and we'll remove the bracket screw. Now it should be easily accessible. There you go.
And remember, just like every job you ever do in the whole world, if you haven't done it on a regular basis, take a lot of pictures before you get started. There's your old thermostat. So I'll put it to the side. And we'll take our new thermostat and unravel this and prepare it for its journey backwards. Get the plugs plugged back in as they were before. Black on the top and orange on the bottom. We'll plug our ground in. And we'll place it on the bracket. Oh, what are we losing? First, we'll screw the thermostat back to its bracket. This is pretty easy peasy. Oh, I thought it was pretty easy peasy. Let's get it all lined up correctly. There we go. Where are you at, buddy? There we are. We get the uncoordinated, but not all the way it starts getting easy. Okay, there we go. Now let's carefully lay our thermostat line back here. And we'll put our bottom screw back in for this bracket. Where are you at, buddy? go. Up and I felt her snug up real nice and tight. Let's get everything lined up nicely in its little hole. There we go. Well, almost. And there you have it, your new thermostat's in place. So now, we'll run our wire out our little side hole. Now here's the part where you wanna start being careful. I'm gonna plug her back in. And there you have it. It's just a matter of putting everything back together. our other front screw. Okay, now we'll go back inside and do the other ones. There's one. And here's the next one. Okay. Now, I hope you can see that. Let's run our thermostat wire back along the same path it was before. And before it was up and under this, so we're going to go ahead and go up and under this again.
and then we'll start from this end and pin it back on. There we go. There's one part of it. And try not to kink this wire while you're doing it. And there you have it, nice and tight, just like she was. Now let's go ahead and put our covers back together. Now we're going to put the second one. Now we're going to put the second cover in place. She looks good. Put her screw back in. And that's it. Okay, on this cover in particular, you can see it's got the grooves on the bottom. So we're going to get our grooves in place all the way across the bottom. Make sure she's lined up with the holes correctly. And just Clip her back in. I said, clip her back in. And there you go, she's nice and tight. I'll put her knobs back on. There's the freezer knob, or the refrigerator knob. There's the freezer knob. And of course, with a new with a new refrigerator, you're probably going to have to adjust your temperature five or six times. I can hear it humming in the background. And I heard it go off. So we're going to set it right in the middle. And we'll let it sit for a couple hours and see what the temperature is and see what we've got. And we use this handy little toy to check our temperature. You can see it's currently 50 degrees in there. But the door's been open for the last 20 minutes, so there you go. Well, that didn't take long at all. I didn't even go blue jeans and a t-shirt for this one. It was a nice, neat, clean job. Now, notice that I did remove everything from the top shelf before we got started. And that way, it just doesn't clutter up your workspace, and you won't lose any screws. And you won't mess up any of your food. The job only takes about 10 minutes to do total. But remember, don't force anything. When you're taking things apart, if you're trying to pull it and you have to pull it hard, it's mostly plastic covers and things. And if you're forcing it, that means you forgot a screw someplace. So stop and take a good look at it first. They're all a little bit different. The thermostat itself is almost identical from one refrigerator to the next and different brands. They're all the same. You're going to have a long probe, which runs along to the back of the refrigerator into the little gate between the freezer and the refrigerator, and a two-wire thermostat that's right behind the dial. So I hope that was helpful. And remember to be careful, unplug it, and safety first. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>